Morning crew, Saturday morning, just got up and getting ready for the day. I know you guys are as excited as I am to get the day started. First stop is going to be the gym. I'm gonna quick stop at the gym, get a sweat session in, one of my favorite gyms in Eau Claire, Fit Elite, shout out. And after that, I know you guys are super excited to get this lovely Saturday morning started. We're gonna start at the farmer's market downtown Eau Claire, and we're going to check out the river walk over by River Prairie in Altoona. They're gonna get brunch at the Nucleus downtown Eau Claire. All these things are things that I would recommend doing if I were you in town and things that I do almost every Saturday morning. So just give you a little bit of idea what it is like to live in Eau Claire. I'm super excited. Let's get the day started. Hey guys, we're here today with Dave, the owner of Fit Elite, where I got my workout in this morning. Dave, tell us about your gym. Hey, welcome to Fit Elite. As you can see in the background, we like to live life, have fun, and move. If you're ever in the town of Eau Claire and you're moving here, or you're in, you want to drop in and you want to change yourself uh, mentally, emotionally, and definitely physically, come and join us. Ah! <laughs> everybody, Dan, Jerseth, and Daisy here. We're about to head outside, just got a workout in for the day, and we're gonna first check out the downtown farmer's market, which is super exciting. They just started it for the year. It's finally nice and sunny outside, so I'm super excited to put some of our first content out there where it's actually nice outside. You never know when you have an opportunity to throw the balls around for D Daisy, right? So join us, and we'll see you soon. Let's go. Living in Eau Claire, take my hand and I'll make it, I swear. Getting the car all packed up. We got Daisy already in here. She is ready to go. Got our film crew here. And just a reminder guys, as we get started, I gotta say, if you guys are planning on moving to this area, make sure you reach out to me. If you watch my videos, you know I'm in real estate, helping people buy and sell locally. I know a lot of the neighborhoods and as we're making these videos, we're gonna discover even, even more things that I, than I originally knew about Eau Claire. If you are moving to the area, we really specialize in helping newcomers to the Eau Claire market and helping you find the best neighborhoods for you to move to. Make sure to reach out to me, phone call, text message, email. Uh, link should be in the description. Hey guys, Dan here. We're at the farmer's market, running into some friends. And I just want to give you a little bit of history about the farmer's market. So <clears throat> vendors have been coming together for over a hundred years here in Eau Claire. And they've been having organized farm farmer's markets since the 1980s. At one point in time, they had it to the London Square, which is kind of like the central location of where the mall stuff was going on. Then they've switched to here and they've grown up to about 70 different vendors. This pavilion was actually built in 2006 and uh, it's a really popping place. You can tell thousands of people show up to this event. It's a really cool thing. I've been running into people I know all morning and uh, Daisy loves to meet some new people as well. Other than that, let's go check out what they have in there. Okay, Daisy, we'll be back. People are so nice around here. They'll even watch your dog. Complete strangers. The Hmong is actually the second largest minority group in Eau Claire, and you'll kind of see this as we're walking through, you're gonna see a lot of Hmong vendors. They have a lot of little farms around the area, hand pick stuff, and they'll bring them here and sell it. So let's go take a look. Look who I ran into here, guys. I ran into my brother and his girlfriend, Anna, and uh, we're super excited. Follow me, come on, guys. Couple things I'm gonna be looking for to buy as I'm here are, I, I was gonna get some maple syrup. I already got some local maple syrup last week. I'm gonna be looking for some fresh fruit. I don't even know if that's in season right now. I guess we'll see. I'll be looking for some veggies. Kyle's looking for some asparagus and um, you know, any good snackies. Like I like to get some get some snacks in my tum tum. So let's go find some stuff, Kyle. Right. High five. 
<laughs> Our first stop, we're gonna get some eggs because I'm all out. And are these farm raised eggs? Yes. You raised all these chickens yourself? Yeah. You love them? Yes. You love your chickens? Yeah. Awesome. So we're over here with, uh, what's your name? Helen. Helen. And we are just going through the farmer's market. Helen was giving me the eye, uh, like she wanted to talk. So I'm over here. We're, <laughs> we're interviewing her. What do you have to sell, Helen? I'm telling you, it is uh, height of the season for hand snapped, certified organic asparagus, fresh nettles. Of course, we always have our chocolate, raspberry, and blueberry toppings. The blueberry and raspberry are a no sugar, mostly fruit topping. We have gifts for all occasions here, along with our popcorn, our red raspberry tea leaves, etc., and always a full line of certified organic beef. Salesperson of the year goes to Helen. <laughs> so Helen was so nice. She asked if I was a sweet tooth, and she gave us a organic turtle. So let's try it. Mm, so good, so good. Hey guys, we're here at our next vendor. We're gonna say hi to, and Jill yeah, makes pasta. I do. You wanna give us a little rundown on what you have here? Look yeah. at this, look at this. <laughs> so I have a bunch of extruded varieties. All of my machinery is from Italy, so it is wildly authentic. I use these big bronze dies to make all these shapes happen. Creates a really porous noodle, so it'll actually puff up in size when it's cooked. It'll actually drink the sauce that it sits in, so completely different than your store-bought variety. All of my flowers locally sourced within the state, and then you're getting it from a true Sicilian. So, can you give me a little pasta like education here? Like, what noodles are what here? Yeah. So the the spiralized shape we call it the fun shape is a radiatory noodle. I've never had that before. It's so much fun. How we do you even it. make that? It. it really is the dye that it comes out of is shaped in a specific way that it curls because of the heat, and then you hand cut it. So you're just hand cutting all of the stuff that's getting cranked out of the extruder. This is a rigatoni, it's a tubular shape. We love tubule, tubular pasta because that's where the sauce gets in the center of it. Mm. Macaroni or cheese. or cheese. A macaroni, which is a really classic, obviously cheese-based uh, noodle. I love it in a pasta salad and a soup. A linguine, which is gonna be your flat-faced long noodle. And then the rounded one, which is a traditional spaghetti. How long have you been coming here to the farmer's market? So this is my first year here. This is our third market. And anything else you want to share? You know, that it's a wildly authentic product and that it comes from my heart. It's it's made because my family's made pasta since my grandmother, so. And that's Lily, so. My company is Jill and Lily's and this is Lily. So oh. she made fresh pasta and so do I. That's awesome. What do you love about Eau Claire? Um, I love the community sense. You know, we're from Detroit and it's a great place, but it, it doesn't necessarily feel like somewhere where you can hang out on the streets all the time. Yeah. But my kids play outside no matter what with their neighbors. I love our farmer's market. I love our community. Just being a small business owner in this last year is really, it's nice to peek behind the curtains and see a bunch of small vendors too. Thank you so much. The best thing about Eau Claire Saturday mornings are hanging out in the grass at Phoenix Park. Got everybody here and Daisy, and I'm just gonna take a little quick nap here. You're, shh. I'm napping everybody. Oh, Daisy's butt's in my face. Happened to be down at the farmers market today, and uh, we were driving down here and noticed that there's actually an art festival with live music going on right next to the local store down here. Uh, so kind of a cool little, cool little uh, surprise. And I'm not buying anything, but uh, kind of cool to walk around. My gosh, it's beautiful. It's really nice, guys. Good work. We 
here downtown with Megan, one of my good friends from college. She makes these amazing signs, and we happen to be at this, what's it called? Uh, North Hill Spring Market, downtown Eau Claire. So it's like a little art festival, and I can hear uh, live bands in the background. Tell us a little bit about your little sign business here. Yeah, so uh, my dad and I started with Soda Works in 2020. We do custom woodwork products, Midwestern themed gurus. Yeah, it's just great vibes going on. It's a bright, sunny Wisconsin day, so. Come join us out here. We're so year. lucky the weather today. I was like, oh my gosh, great day for filming some video. That way our, our followers can see what it's really like in a very beautiful day. Yes. Thank you. Hey guys, we're downtown here on Water Street, walking to the Nucleus. I'm so hungry right now. I could eat a whole elephant. We are in Racy's uh, coffee shop right now. We're in Racy's right now because it's actually attached to the Nucleus and Racy's allow his dogs in here. And Daisy wanted to be along for breakfast and chocolate milk and coffee and stuff. So here we are sitting in Racy's right now. Kind of a fun fact about the Nucleus is that they started two decades ago and they've actually doubled their amount of seatings over the past two decades. There's four different areas to eat here. One is the west side, the east side, the annex, and Racy's coffee shop. And also kind of a fun fact about the Nucleus is that this last year they were voted top in Eau Claire for breakfast spot, brunch spot, and the top vegan menu. Really cool place to get brunch with the family members. There's a lot of college students that come around here because it's right down in the college housing area. Super cool spot, so definitely recommend coming here for brunch or breakfast. Hi guys, Daisy and Dan here. We're at the River Prairie area, which is our next stop today. And as you can see behind me, there's going to be a splash pad and a couple other things. We're gonna do a river walk down here. A reminder, if this is something that you desire, so depending on what kind of, what part of town you wanna live on, you gotta make sure you reach out to me. I'm gonna know all the best areas, so if you're new to this area or moving from out of state, make sure you reach out to me. Name is Dan, would love to talk to you, get to know you a little bit more, and show you around town. So this is one of the unique places around Eau Claire, which is actually just outside of the city limits of Eau Claire in Altoona. Behind me is where we have yoga in the park at 9 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Gotta check the yoga room schedule because they might change that over the time. But really cool opportunity to be outside and meet some really awesome people, including myself. You can see through here, they have a little splash pad over here. Come on, Daisy! Come on, Daisy! Come on, Daisy! Over here, they have a little stream going through the park. There's a uh, ice cream shop here. There's really cool arcade restaurants in the area. A wedding venue location, a little music venue here for music in the park. So many cool opportunities for just a really nice morning stroll on a Saturday morning. You can see there's a lot of people taking advantage of the, the beautiful sunlight we have today. So we'll do a little walk around and show you guys some more. Hi guys, here's another example of the beautiful architecture of Eau Claire. Make sure you guys put this on your to-do list to visit the River Prairie area. Hey, another cool spot to check out down here is the Island Park side. It's actually an island themed restaurant bar area in the River Prairie down here. There's also 44 Below, which is a burger and ice cream bar, and 44 North, which is actually um, like a, a, a two-story restaurant with a bunch of arcade games in it. So cool, cool thing to do. Hey guys, what you guys were just watching, we were at the splash pad right in the center of that River Prairie area. And we were kind of walking through those little creeks where Daisy was walking through the water. There's a couple different restaurants and commercial buildings, like uh, there's a dentist, there's a restaurant over here. The restaurant that we were pointing out to you guys, 44 North is right here. We actually just took our car and drove down here. So we're currently at this parking lot here right along the, the Eau Claire River. But we're actually gonna come down here. Uh, you can see the background over here is going to be a pond. And we're actually gonna go along the little river walk. All right guys, here's our last stop of the day, which is the River Prairie River Walk. And you can see behind me is the Chippewa, I think it's the Chippewa River back here. 
It's biking, hiking, running trail goes on for a few miles. There's a good trail system throughout Eau Claire. So definitely check this place out. To make sure you guys subscribe, we're gonna be having plenty of more content of Eau Claire and surrounding areas in the future. We're also gonna do music in the park. So I know if you guys subscribe for that, we're gonna, that's coming up. That season just hasn't started yet. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe. It keeps us motivated to keep making more content. And remember, if you're moving to this area, reach out to me. Peace out.